You two, how y'all doing, man? It's your boy Sensei Steez for this video. I have the game now. I've had the game all day, people. That is right. I have the game now, and all I have been doing since the last video is studying numbers studying badges getting information discord call conference serious just serious mathematics going on people and i finally think i have the perfect build for me but the perfect build for me is a perfect build for all and i'm gonna go through why i do what i do on this video Everything that I put, it might not make sense in the beginning, but everything I do has a purpose, and I'm going to try my best to explain. Go ahead and like, subscribe, turn the notice on. This is just the beginning. Like I say, I do this every single year. I go through it. I see the game on another level, you could almost say. I study this thing. You know, it's just like people, Steezo, how you do all the dribble moves? How you be breaking the game? Because I study the game. I look at the game differently than anybody else, but I don't want to make this too long. So let's get right into the video. Like I said, everything I do is calculated, and I will do my best to explain why. Let's get to it. So the first thing you're going to want to do is name yourself something cool. You feel me? Something just cool, you know, because if, if you ain't feeling good, then you ain't going to play good. Now, anywho, put that position not to point guard. I tested all of them, tested the small forwards, point guard. But the best thing you don't want to do is go to shooting guard. Trust me, it is essential that you do this. Right or left, it doesn't matter, people. Another year, different year, same Steve. Same stuff. 47, you already know, and we already going to it. Now, right here is important because what we have figured out by actually just going through the builder is that if you want Hall of Fame first step, you need at least a 94 speed with ball. And if you notice anything above six foot five, if you look to my right, speed with ball, no matter how low you put everything, you can put the lowest weight, whatever, it will only go to an 89. But keep in mind, when you do hit 99, you will get a plus four. That still does not reach a 94. You will be one short. So that means the lowest you could be, because I think Hall of Fame first step is going to be important this year. The lowest height you could be would be a 6'5", right there. And if you put the weight down, you see I'm at a 90 speed with ball, but if you put the weight to approximately, I say probably 178. 178 as you can see because it doesn't like we get the plus four acceleration and that will put your speed to a 91 i know what you think is steezo you said 94 for the hall of fame quick first step but when you hit 99 you will get the plus four making your speed with ball a 95 i know it sounds complicated people but we did the math trust me <laughs> this is what the this is the conclusion to all that and the wingspan you can have without messing with your shot as you can see goes to about anything above 610 you'll drop your three-pointer so that's the threshold you want to go with body shape does not matter you want to go to a slight and that should be good right there bear with me here it might not make a lot of sense what i do right here but it's all going to equal out so as you can see then what we wanted to do in the first place speed with ball 91 all the way and put this to about a 78. You see, if he goes any lower than a 78, you lose that badge. 18. Pay attention to these numbers or the badges. The reason why I picked these specific numbers for the badges is because I calculated them. I really went through every single badge and I told myself or I figured out, Steezo, all you need is about 18 to do what you normally do, basically. All you need is 18 so it doesn't make sense to keep going to 19 it doesn't make sense to stay anything lower than you know to go to 17 you want to go to 18 that is what you're gonna need 
91 get to 98 overall because if you don't want to hold a 99 you will unlock the hall of fame first step you have my word on it that is all you need now to the three point you want to go to 95 put this we're going to sacrifice everything is about sacrificing but it's all going to work out in the end to a 91 mid-range and then a 79 three that will get you exactly as you could see 24 just like Kobe, you feel me? Not You don't need to do any more, just 24. That's 24, 18. And I'm going to go over the badges later on in the video after I'm done with the stats. And it's all going to come together, people. I promise. So you want to do that. Then, for the driving layup, you know us. We don't need really layup or, or finishing. I never was a finisher. If you know every year, I don't really go too crazy with the finishing. I've always had just one badge with finishing. Because my type of style and a good play shots type of style, if you are a lethal play shot, they have to pick you up from the three-point line. And the closer they are guarding you from the three, the more wide open you're going to be for the dunk. And check out this dunk right here, people. We do not need anything more than 86. Now, let me explain the mentality around this. 86, because it's very important. You see, it's 85 or 80 whatever you're gonna unlock contact dunks with this you see what i'm saying so you're gonna have the contact dunks you don't really need the posterizer on hall of fame because you're gonna have the animations unlocked as it is and when you hit 99 you will have elite contact dunks because you will have a plus four in your driving dunk which will make it a 90 you see how everything kind of just hits the certain thresholds. That's what you want to pay attention to when you're making your build, people. You want to understand the thresholds and try to work around it to so you could save as much to have the most balanced build you can when making your build. I thought this out, you feel me? Like, I really did my homework. And, of course, you're going to want to put your standing dunk to a 29, and that will get you, you see, the one badge. That's all you need is that one badge. I promise you. It's more about the animations. I've seen posters watching streams of all i'm watching all the youtuber streams as well they're already getting posterizers with no badges because they have the 95 dunk with the animations unlocked trust me and you're not going to be a dunker anyways your bread and butter is going to be your shooting and your playmaking we start from the three out or the shooting and then make our way to the inside it, the more better you are at shooting they have to respect the 24 the easier and more wide open you will be for the dunks it's the same thing every year people don't worry about it now the perimeter defense this is the beautifulest part about this year is the fact I get to be a whole lockdown. Look at that. 95 perimeter defense. I mean, there's not much more you can say about that. We're going to go 64 right here on our block, which is maxed. Then we're going to go, pay attention, 78. We're going to skip steal. I know what you're thinking. This is probably the one sacrifice on this because... There's a reason why steel is not beneficial to you this year. But let me go ahead and finish this real quick. And I'm going to get to that 78. And that should get you exactly. Watch this. I think it'll do it. Boom. 10. You see that? You go one down. It don't work. 10 right there. Now, I know what you're thinking. Steel. I, I need steel. I need steel. The reason why steel is not too beneficial in this game is because it costs too much y'all see what i'm saying like if you were to go steal look how quick you got look you won't you won't even be able to max it out or whatever and you now you have nothing for your physical you see what i'm saying for some reason steal just boost your overall and you have a cap of 95 overall so you can't really mess with steel too much especially once you finish because this is more important the physicals watch right so of course you want to max all the physicals you can acceleration you need that vital speed you need that vital stamina uh, don't even get me started you feel me you need that vital you can't even lower the vertical because the vertical is connected to the dunk this year so that is literally the lowest vertical you can have so what's left and that looks about right. That looks about right right there. Now, look, when you put the rest for steel, look how much you get. You literally get two left. 
there's nothing else for you to sacrifice here. We're already sacrificing the most on drive and layup because when we go to the rim, we're going to dunk it anyways. You see what I'm saying? We're not going to sacrifice any shooting because I'm going to get to that, that we need all 24 of those badges. 18 badges. We can't afford to go any lower. Look, we do that. You can't afford to go any lower. Shooting? Can't afford to go any lower. You take one off your... Look. So you see how we have to make a sacrifice, and I promise a lot of people this year are going to have to just sacrifice on steel because let's say, look, this is this is what I mean by steel just costs the most. We'll take down all of our rebounding, right? Say it's like, why do you have rebounding over steel? You put up your steel? Look at that. Look at that. 25 to 35 on steel costs all of your offensive rebound and defensive rebound, and you just lost six badges. So if you take off 10 on steel and put it on your defensive rebound, you literally get five more badges. I don't know why it's like this, but it's the biggest secret in the game. And y'all need to understand these things before you make y'all guards, before you make anything. Steel is a setup for some reason. I don't know why, but it is. That looks about right. And then we have how many? We have what? A couple more? What can we put it on? Um... Yeah, vertical, I think, plus three. And then, yeah, that'll get us to our 95. You see? And I know what you're thinking. 1, 24, 18, 10. Is that all I need? Let me get into the badges. Something I didn't do in the last video. Go ahead and continue. And this is something I thought over, too. I want my build to be able to have an all-around purpose to it. So, the primary takeover, when I get it, I'm going to want limitless range just to have my threes. And then if I feel like it, ankle breaking shots and i know people are probably confused about ankle breaking shots but i've watched streams this is ankle breaker this is the new ankle breaker you're probably wondering why it's on shot creator because i guess 2k's logic was breaking ankles isn't as much playmaking as it is creating your shot if you think about it so they finally put ankle breakers associated with ankle breaking shots and it's not the ones where it you just do hop steps, and that's the only way to break them. No, you can break people with snatchbacks with this, people. I've watched it on stream. Trust me. Ankle breaking shots is the new ankle breaker badge. It's just under shot created now. I don't know why. Build complete. What did we make? The two-way shot creator. In my opinion, the best shot creator in the game, especially for me. And this is why right here. Go over here turn it to 99 this is where it gets fun people why did i pick 24 specifically and i'm gonna go through it and i'm gonna show y'all for me so for me i like dead eye i put that on hall of fame for me i like deep threes need it you're gonna need your green machine you're gonna need your hot zone hunter you're gonna need if you iso like me or just anything Look at this new badge. This is the main important badge right here, people. Increases the chances of a made shot after sizing up your opponent with dribble moves. Who's a dribbler? You feel me? That man, might as well be the Steezo badge. Come on. And there's a new badge called Stop and Pop. I will be experimenting with this one to see if it's legit. Boost shot rating on standstill three-pointers after dribbling. You know I have to choose all the dribbling shooting badges. I am a dribble shooter. This is what I do. You feel me? But let me calm down because this is this is Sensei Steve's right now. I'm here to teach y'all. Just, you know, get y'all right. And then there it is right there. Also, another badge to look out for. Hot Shot gives an additional boost towards takeover progress after making shots. Now, I couldn't afford 28 without totally ruining my build. So, if we find out one of these bot badges is... Is, is, you know, an imposter. They among us. They among us. But they the imposters. We could easily go boom, boom. Or let's say I don't even need Deadeye this year for whatever. Because Deadeye on current gen, if y'all remember, it wasn't that great. Boom, boom. You see what I'm saying? So we're looking good. That's all the badges we need. We don't need corner specialists. We don't need any of these catch and shoots. Circus threes clutch shooter would be nice, but we don't necessarily need it tireless score only activates when you're blinking We did our research. I did my research this 24 will get you exactly all the badges y'all need trust me Moving on I told y'all with the one finishing Posterizer all you need just to activate it 
You have the animations activated already. You don't need the Hall of Fame. We're not going to be posterizing anyways. You're going to be so, such a threat from the three-point line. Yo, the, the paint's going to be wide open. You feel me? Because you're such a threat from three. You have 24 shooting badges that they must respect. That's going to open up the paint for you. You're not going to use it that much. You're just going to have that one badge just to, you know, give it that boost kick. But we never pick finish in any other year. Now let's get to the playmaking. Ankle breaker gold. That's the highest it goes. You know we need that. Dimer gold. You know we need that. Floor general. I do not need that. My teammate always, the team that I run with, they're very unselfish. That's why I run with them. They unselfish, you feel me? They gonna have floor general for me, which means I don't really need it. You see what I'm saying? It's mostly my center. My center last year was the one who had the floor general for me. And that's pretty much all I need. My center gonna have it. The two guard that I play with is gonna have it. I don't need floor general for that reason. But what I do need is handles for days. Quick first step. And unpluckable. Now, and that, that pretty much does it. Now, I don't believe in Hall of Fame unpluckable. It's an illusion. We all know that. So, I'm going to go ahead and drop that. Put that bailout on Braun. You feel me? And that's about it, y'all. That gets me all the badges I need. I don't need tight handles. The park, park, the park dribble moves is just kind of cruise this year. You can't cancel out of them. They still have five different animations on one input. Like, I don't know. I, I should become a developer, y'all, because I feel like I'll be knowing more about the game than the goddamn developers. Why would you ever put, uh, I'm not going to go into a rant, bro, but five animations on one input. Mike Wang, I tried to tell you, you need to listen to me, bro. What's wrong with you? I'm ashamed. Still got that. We on a whole nother gen, and we still got that issue. But anywho, that's pretty much all the badges y'all going to need. You feel me? That's all of them. So it's all coming back to why I chose these specific numbers. And, of course, 10 badges. You can't have enough defensive badges. I figured these are all I need, so the rest going to go on this. And that will get me my Hall of Fame clamps, my Hall of Fame pick dodger. Steve's going to have Hall of Fame pick dodger this year and Hall of Fame clamps. You feel me with a 95 perimeter D. And then the rest, you know, I go like bronze, bronze. You feel me? That's all I need right there. Just in case he try to, like, go to the paint, I can have a little bit of boosties to my, you know, my blocks and stuff. And that right there, people, does it. Like, I think that's the greatest build. I think that's the greatest shot creator build. This will most likely, unless I find out something until I get my PlayStation 5 because I'm on Xbox right now, this is going to be my build. I like the height. It's a good height. I get all the badges I need. It could do everything that I need. A 95-3 contact dunks. Speed boosting off rip. 95 perimeter defense with 10 badges to go along with their Hall of Fame clamps and Hall of Fame pick dodger. This is the perfect build for Steez. I think this will be a perfect build for a lot of y'all out there. If not most. People could look at the finishing, but I never had finishing because, like I said, the mentality that I use, my shooting is such a threat that you're going to have to press me anyways. So you pressing me and my dribble moves and my speed, I'm going to be able to go around you easily. That's what's going to open up the finishing. And then I could still contact you if somebody come just for the fuck of it. I mean, the heck of it. But, yeah, that's pretty much what we're doing. And I don't know what they're doing outside. I know y'all hear that. But, anywho... That's going to continue our build. That's what it is. I went through it thoroughly. I tried to be, have a serious tone this vid because I really want to help y'all. But yeah, y'all let me know what's good. I'm going to come out with way more vids. Like I said, I have the game now. Let me get 10K likes for the dribbling. You know, I'm going to try to look into that and just explain all that because I haven't seen much people test on like touch on it. But yeah, that pretty much does it for this video. I'm going to have gameplay. More fun. I'm going to lighten up the mood in the next vids. I just really been studying this. That's why I'm in such a serious mood and just... You know, I want to give y'all as much information as I can. I love y'all. Go ahead and hit that like, subscribe, turn the noties on, leave the feedback. Like I said, I enjoy the feedback. And that's it. Love y'all. Peace. Uh. I live in a constant state of fear.